Ooh. What was the hardest element of effective communication for me to master? Empathy. <laughs> My very nature, I'm not sympathetic. I see somebody who's upset and I, I have no response to that about becoming upset with them or anything like that. And what I realised early on was I didn't really understand it. I didn't understand why they would be upset. And because of that, I just carried on as normal. I was like, okay, you're upset. That's a fact. Move on. Um, and most people don't respond that way. That made them more upset. That made them, brutally honest in my head, less useful to me. Um, and what I learned over time and what I've been working on for a long time now is the empathetic side, something you can learn. Okay. Understanding, I, I can still build the, they're upset, that's a fact. Okay. But what I've learned over time is, okay, you can't know what they're feeling. Okay, and the logical part of my brain goes, well, of course not, that's just a daft idea. But you know what it's like to be upset. So how does it feel for you to be upset? And if you were that person, what would you want? What would you need in this moment? And that's really helped me craft a lot of my career is just taking that time and it's still a deliberate exercise. I still have to do it. I know some people are naturally highly empathetic and it just happens for them. And I am so very jealous. Okay. For me, it still takes time. It still requires me to think about it. But it is OK. They're upset. I can see it. If I was like that, what would be helpful to me? How would... I want somebody to approach whatever the topic is that I'm, I'm approaching them about and then try and come from that position. It's not always perfect. I'm by no means 100% success right. But in doing so, you're starting to draw them in. You're, you're trying to understand what they're doing, okay? which means that you can deliver things with far more respect to where they are and you can determine whether or not to approach the topic. Now, if you're a natural empath, you're probably going, yeah, well, duh. Um, but we're not all like that. Okay? And for me, the hardest thing that I've had to learn and the most significant thing, without a doubt, is to bring empathy into the game, to try and understand people's emotions, where they're coming from, and as such, tailor the conversation to them. If there needs to be one, sometimes there's definitely not the right time to have that conversation. And OK, we'll find another way forwards. But it's taken time. And I'm sure if you talk to many scrum masters, agile coaches, trainers, they will all have something different. But for me, it's been growing my practice of empathy. If you've got to this point in the video, I hope you've enjoyed it. If so, a like would be appreciated. If you want to hear more from me, more answers to questions that maybe you've got in the agile world, please subscribe to the channel. And if you've got a question that you really want answered, Drop it in the comments. I promise we'll get around to it. Thank you.